The following is a class on the Bhagavad Gita as it is. Second chapter, text number 9. Given by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada. Recorded on August 16th, 1973, in London, England. Translation. Sanjaya said, having spoken thus, Arjuna, chastiser of enemies, told Krishna, Govinda, I shall not fight, and fell silent. In the previous verse, Arjuna said that there is no profit in this fighting because the other side, they are all my relatives, kinsmen, and by killing them, even if I become victorious, so what is the value? <coughs> that we have explained the such kind of renouncement sometimes takes place in ignorance. Actually, uh, it is not very much intelligently placed. <coughs> so in this way, Tirumukta saying that uh, so there is no profit in fighting, Tirumukta saying this, Rishikesa, uh, he is speaking to the master of the senses. Uh, and in previous Vāsyas said, Śrīśya-speyaham prapannyam I am your surrender, disciple. So Krishna becomes guru and Arjun becomes the disciple. Formerly they are talking as friends, but friendly talking cannot decide any serious question. When there is some serious matter, it must be uh, spoken between authorities. So, Rishikesam, as several times explained, Rishik means the senses, and Isha means the mask. Rishika Isha, uh, the giant together, Rishikesh. Uh, similarly, Arjuna also, Guruka Isha. Guruka means darkness and evil. Darkness means ignorance. Agyana Timirandhasya Gyana Nyana Salataya Chakshu Militam Jena Tasvayin Sri Guru Jena. Guru's duty is a shisha, a disciple, comes to the Guru for enlightenment. Everyone is born foolish. <coughs> Everyone, even human being, because they are coming from the animal kingdom by evolution. So the birth is uh, the same, ignorant, like animal. Therefore, uh, even though one is human being, he requires education. Uh, the animal cannot take education, but a human being can take education. Therefore, Shastra says, Nayana deha deha bhajana ni lopi kastan kamaan arahati ni rujan. At several times recited this word. And now, uh, in the lower than human being condition, uh, we have to work very hard simply for four necessities of life, eating, sleeping, mating, and defending. Uh, sense gratification. Main object is sense gratification. Therefore, uh, everyone has to work very hard. But in the human form of life, Krishna gives us so much facility, intelligence, we can make our standard of living 
very comfortable, but with the purpose of attaining perfection in Krishna consciousness. You live comfortably, uh, that's all right, but don't live like animals, simply increasing sense uh, The human effort is going on. How to live comfortably? But they want to live comfortably for sense gathering. That is the mistake of the modern thing. Juktahara Viharasya Yoga Bhavati Siddhi. The Bhagavad Gita is saying, Juktahara. Yes, you must eat, you must sleep, you must satisfy your senses, you must arrange for defense as much as possible, not to divert attention uh, too much. Uh, we have to eat yukta-ahara. That's a fact. But not uttyahara. Rupa Goswami has advised in his Upadesha Amrita, uttyahara prayasasta prajalpa niyamadraha lulam janasangasta saravi bhakti pranasat. If you want to advance in spiritual consciousness, because that is the only objective of life, then you should not eat more atyahara or collect more atyahara priyasasya prajalpa nyamātra. That is our fear. Uh, the other day in Paris, one uh, Place reporter came to me, uh, from uh, the socialist place. Hmm. So I informed him that our philosophy is that uh, everything belongs to God. Krishna said, uh, uh, what is that? Bhoktaram Jagdhavasam Sarudupa Mahesaram. And in India, Bhokta. Bhokta means in India. So, Bhokta and the position. Just like this body is working. The body, whole body is working, everyone, uh, to enjoy life. But where from the enjoyment begins? Huh? The enjoyment begins from the stomach. You have to give sufficient nice food stuff to the stomach. If there is sufficient energy, you can digest. If sufficient energy, then all other senses become strong. Then you can enjoy something. Otherwise, not possible. If you cannot digest, just huh? like we have now, old man, we cannot digest. Huh? There. So there is no question of sense enjoyment. So sense enjoyment begins from the stomach. Mm-hmm. The luxuriant growth of the tree begins from the root. Uh, if, the, if there is sufficient water, uh, therefore uh, the trees are called padapa. They drink water from the leg, the roots, not from the head. It's like wheat from the head. So there are different arrangements. Huh? As we can eat from the mouth, the trees can eat from their legs. But what must eat? Ahara Vidya Bhagavatam. Eating is there. Either you eat through your legs or your mouth or your hands. But so far Krishna is concerned, he can eat from anywhere. He can eat from hands, from legs, from eyes, from ears, anywhere. Because he is complete spiritual. There is no difference between his heads and legs and ears and eyes. That is stated in the Brahma Sangita. Angani Jasa Sakalindriya Vritti Manti Prashanti Pahanti Kalayanti Chidam Jaganti Ananda Chinvaya Sadhu Jala Vigrahasa Govindamadi Kudam Tamam. So, 
uh, as in this body our sense enjoyment should begin from the stomach. Similarly, as the tree begins uh, <coughs> developing luxuriantly from the root, similarly, Krishna is the origin of everything, Janmadrasya Jata, root. So without Krishna consciousness, without pleasing Krishna, he cannot be happy. This is the Krishna. Therefore, how Krishna will be pleased? Krishna will be pleased that we are all Krishna's son, God's son. Everything Krishna's property. These are facts. Uh, now, we can enjoy taking prasadam of Krishna because he is the proprietor, bhukta, enjoy. So everything should be given first to Krishna and then you take the prasad. That will make you happy. Uh, that is stated in the Bhagavad Gita. Bhunyante te avhama papam de parchanti atmakarana. Those who are cooking for eating themselves, they are simply eating scenes. Bhunyante te avhama papam de parchanti jagyate karmanatra lokayam karam. Everything should be done for Krishna. Even you are eating anything. All sense and jama. You can enjoy, but after Krishna is enjoyed, then you can. Therefore Krishna's name is Rishi Krishna. He is the master. Master of the senses. You cannot enjoy your senses independently. That's why the servant. Servant cannot enjoy. That is a cook, cooking very, very nice food stuff in the kitchen, but he cannot eat in the beginning. That is not fair. Then he will be uh, The master first of all must take and then they can eat. All the nice foods come. So, uh, Krishna is the master of the senses. The whole world is struggling for sense gratification. Here is the simple philosophy, true, that first of all let India, let Krishna India, he is the master, and then he is the master. Tena tena bhunjita Everything belongs to Krishna. Ishavasam vidam sarvam. Everything belongs to Krishna. This is the mistake. Everything belongs to Krishna, but we are think, thinking everything belongs to me. This is illusion. Aham mameti, aham mameti, janasya mohoyam, aham mameti. This is illusion. Everyone is thinking I have this body, and everything whatever we find in this world, that is to be enjoyed by me. This is the mistake of civilization. The knowledge is everything belongs to God. I can take only whatever He gives me kindly. A loss. Tena Taktino Punji. This is not Vaishnava philosophy. This is the fact. Nobody is proprietor. He is Avasana Jamsa. Every Krishna says, I am India. I am the proprietor. Sarva Lupa Mahisaram. Mahaisaram. Maha means great. We can claim Isha, controller. But Krishna is described as Mahaisaram, controller of the controller. That is Krishna. Nobody is independently controller. So, therefore Krishna is described, Rishikesha, Rishikena, Rishikesha, Sevanam, Bhakti, Rityate. And Bhakti means 
to serve Rishikesh by the Rishi. Rishi means senses. Krishna is the master of the senses, and therefore, whatever senses I have got, then master is Krishna, proprietor is Krishna. So when our senses are engaged in the satisfaction of the master of the senses, that is called bhakti. This is the definition of bhakti. Devotion of And when the senses are engaged for sense gratification, not for the master, that is called calm. Calm and frame. Prema means to love Krishna and do everything for satisfaction of Krishna. That is prema, love. And kama means uh, uh, everything done for the satisfaction of my senses. This is the difference. The sense is the medium. Uh, either you uh, do it, satisfy your senses, or you satisfy Krishna's senses. But when you satisfy Krishna's senses, you become perfect. And when you satisfy your senses, you become imperfect, illusion. Because you cannot and satisfy your senses. That is not possible. Without Krishna. Rishikena, Rishikesha, Sivanam, Bhakti Therefore, one has to purify the senses. At the present moment, everyone is trying to satisfy his senses. Aham Mameti, Janasya Mohoya, Kumsana Sriyami, Kunibhava Meta. The whole material world is that uh, there are two living entities, male and female. Uh, the male is trying also to satisfy his senses, and the female is also trying to satisfy her senses. Here the so-called love means there is no love. It cannot be true. Because the man and woman, nobody is trying to satisfy the other party's senses. Everyone is trying to satisfy his or her senses. A woman is loving a man for satisfying her senses, and the man is loving a woman for satisfying. Therefore, as soon as there is some little disturbance in the sense gratification, divorce. I don't want. Because the central point is personal sense gratification. But we can make a picture, so what? Oh, I love you so much, I love you so much. There is no love, it is all calm, lust. In the material all there cannot be possibility of love, it is not possible. The so called cheating. Cheating only. I love you. I love you because you are beautiful, it is satisfying my senses. Because you are young, it is satisfying my senses. This is the word, material word, means this. Kumishan Sriya means Srivava Meta. The whole basic principle of this material world is sense gratification. Janamai Sunadi Grihame di Sukham Mitucham. Kanduane in a Kalayu, Rivadukha Dukham. This material world, so called love, society, fancy of love, everything is depending on that sense gratification. Mai Sunadi. Beginning from sex, janamai sanadi grihami sukham mitucham. So when one becomes free from this maithanadi sukham, he is liberated. He is liberated. Shami, Gosham. So now one is attached to this maithanadi, sex impulse. He is neither Shami nor Vishnu. Shami means when one becomes master of the senses. As Krishna is a master of senses, so when one becomes Krishna conscious, he becomes master of the senses. It is not that senses should be stopped. No, it should be controlled. When I require, I shall use this. Otherwise, not. That is master of senses. I shall not act impelled by the senses. Senses should act under my direction. 
there is a. Therefore, Kaujan is called Gurapish. His master, he is also finally like. He is not a coward, but he is compassionate because he is devotee. Because he is devotee of Krishna. Anyone who becomes a devotee of Krishna, all the good qualities manifest in his body. Dasyati bhakti bhagavati akinjana sarvai gunai tatra samasati sura. All godly qualities. So, Arjun is also, otherwise how he can become intimate friend of Krishna unless of the same position. Friends say he becomes very strong when both the friends on equal level, same age, same education, same prestige, same beauty, the, the more similarity of position, then the friendship is strong. So Arjun is also on the same level of Krishna. Just like if somebody becomes a friend of the president, friend of the king or queen, no, he is not ordinary man. He must be of the same position. It's like the Bhostam is. The Bhostam is when they give up that family life, it is described by Srinivasa Asaj. Tatya Turnam Masi Samandalapati Sanin Tada Tuj. Mandalapati, big, big leaders, Mandalapati, big, big leaders, Jamindas, big, big, big man, he is a minister who can become his friend unless he is also a very big man. So, Rupakaswami gave up that company. As soon as Rupakaswami and Sanatana Goswami became acquainted with Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Immediately they decided that we shall retire from this minister saying and join Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu to help him, to serve him, not to help him. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu doesn't require any answer. But if we try to associate and try to serve him, then our life becomes successful. That's why Krishna says, Krishna came to preach Bhagavad Gita. Sadhulanman Paritya Jumamitam Sam, that was his mission. That these rascals have become a servant of so many things. Society, fancy, love, religion, greed, that, so many things. Nationality, community. So these rascals should stop all this nonsense business. Sarvadharman Paritya Give up all this nonsense. Simply just become surrendered to me. This is easy. Otherwise, how Krishna is advising that Sarva Dharma and Paritya to give up all religious system. He came, Dharma Samasthapana Thaya, he came to reestablish the principles of religion. Now he says Sarva Dharma and Paritya. Give up all. That means, Anything without Krishna consciousness, without God consciousness, that's all cheating religion. Tell us, religion means dharmandu sāsāt lagavat pranitam, the order of the supreme law. If you do not know who is the supreme law, if you do not know what is the order of the supreme law, then where is religion? That is the religion. That may go on in the name of religion, but there is cheating. So the Bhagavad Gita ends Sarva Dharma and Parikarja Mahamitam Sarvam Vajra. And Bhagavad begins from that point. Therefore, Bhagavad Gita is a preliminary study of Srimad Bhagavad. Bhagavad begins Dharma Projita Paitava Tra. Now in this Srimad Bhagavatam, all cheating type of religion are rejected. Proji. So there is link. Real religion means to love God. That is real religion. 
देख भागवत से सभी पुंसान परो धर्म जो तो भक्ति लधो खरी दैट इज फर्स्ट क्लास रिलीजन इट डज मे दैट यू फॉलो दिस रिलीजन और दैट रिलीजन यू मे फॉलो एनी रिलीजन इट डज नॉट आई दैट हिंदू रिलीजन और क्रिश्चियन रिलीजन और मावड़न रिलीजन एनी थिंग इज दैट बट वी हैव टू टेक गेट लाइक ए स्टूडेंट हु हैज पास एन एग्जामिनेशन Nobody inquires from which college you have passed your examination. You have passed an examination. That's all. Then we are concerned whether you are graduate, post graduate. That's all. Nobody inquires from which college, from which country, from which religion you have passed your examination. No. Oh. Similarly, if nobody should inquire to which religion you be, uh, belong. One must see whether he has learned this art how to love God. That's all. That is it. Because here is the idea: Sarva Dharma An Parichajya Mami Tam Sarva Nam. This is the idea. Bhagavad Gita, huh? Dharma Prudhita Purita Vartra, all not cheating type of idea, is kicked out from this Bhagavatam. Only Nirmalaan. Uh, those who are not any year of God. Uh, why shall I love God? Why shall I worship God? Why shall I accept God? They are all demands. Uh, for them only, Srimad Bhagavad. For them, those who are actually serious to God. Ahi Puti Yatha Jinatma Sam Prasidati. So, real success of life is Uh, that when you learn how to love God, then your uh, heart will be satisfied. Jangalam dha cha param lavang mannate nadikam kaka. If you get Krishna or God, Krishna means God. Uh, if you have got another name of God, that that is also accepted. But God, uh, the supreme law, the supreme person, uh, when you And God is because we are loving somebody. Uh, the loving propensity is there in everyone, mm-hmm. but it is misdirected. Uh, therefore, Krishna said, "Kick out all these loving objects. Try to love me." Sarva dharma purita jamaane. In this way, your loving will never be uh, able to satisfy. जी नाथा सम प्रसिद्ध इफ यू वॉन्ट रियल सेटिस्फैक्शन देन यू मस्ट लव कृष्ण और लॉ दैट इज द होल फिलर ऑफ वेरी फिलर एनी फिलर ऑफ यू कैन बिकॉज आफ्टर ऑल यू वॉन्ट सेटिस्फैक्शन ऑफ योर सर फुल सेटिस्फैक्शन ऑफ योर मॉन दैट कैन यू ओनली अचीव वेन यू लव गॉड दैट रिलीजन इज फर्स्ट क्लास विच टीचर्स विच ट्रेन्स The candidate, how to love God? That is the question. Sabhi kum saang paro dharma jato ho, and that love now is the motive. That's why right here in this material world, I love you, love me. The background is some motive. Ahi to ki apriti ta, ahi to ki no motive. Anna vilasita sunram. All other desires making zero. Zero. Uh, that will be taught in the Bhagavad Gita. 